Shopify Dropshipping Tutorial 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about Shopify and how you can start your dropshipping journey to this absolutely immaculate and amazing e-commerce software. So to start things off, we're gonna come over to Shopify.com and once you're into Shopify.com, we're gonna create an account with it. So to create an account with it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and click on start free trial, and it's gonna take you into the store creation. Now, once you go into the store creation, it's gonna tell you to get started, and it's gonna ask you a few questions where it's gonna say, you know, which of these best describes you. You could go with, I'm just starting, I'm already selling online or in person. I'm gonna go with, I'm just starting and click on next. Then it says, where would you like to sell? I'm gonna click an online store and click on next. And it says, what do you plan to sell first? I'm gonna go with drop shipping products and click on next. Once we do that, it says, where will your business be located? Uh, you're obviously gonna add in your business location. So in my case, it's Pakistan and you can go ahead and add, you know, whatever location you have. And once you do that, it's gonna bring you here where it's gonna ask you to sign up with these different ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on sign up with email. And I'm simply going to go ahead and add an email for myself and uh, sign in with that. So I'm going to go ahead and be using a temp mail for now. You don't necessarily need to follow this step. You can simply go ahead and use any other email that you have. But I'm going to go with this. Okay. And once we're over here, let me show you what to do from here. So what you're going to do is you're simply going to be adding your password in this section. And once you add your password, you're simply going to click on create Shopify account. Now, once you're creating your Shopify account, it's going to ask you for your password again. So you're going to make sure to reconfirm it and reassure it. And once you reassure your password, what's going to happen from there is it's going to directly log you in. So when it logs you in, let me show you what the interface looks like. So once you come over here, it starts loading and the screen starts loading. And what happens from there is it's going to bring you to building your store. So once it brings you to building your store, what's going to happen from there is you are going to be taken into this section, which is basically your basic dashboard. Okay. Now, once you're in your dashboard, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be downloading some application, which will basically allow you to, you know, start your job shipping. So in my opinion, I would always suggest users to go with some application like uh, CJ job shipping or maybe Spocket or Deezers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding Caesar dropshipping for myself. So for that, we're going to click on add apps and we're going to click on Shopify app store. Now, once you click on your Shopify app store, it's going to basically load things in and it's going to bring you here. Now, once you are over here, what you're simply going to do is you're going to search up CJ. Just search up CJ. You can write dropshipping if you want to, but you're, I'm just simply going to search up CJ. Once you search up CJ, it's going to bring you here where it says CJ dropshipping much faster. Now, once you go here, you're going to click on open app. And once you click on open app, from there, it's gonna start authorizing things where it's gonna bring you here. It's gonna ask you to agree the terms. We're gonna click on login and authorize. If you have an account, you're gonna do that. Or if you don't, you're simply gonna go ahead and sign up. Sign up process is pretty simple. You're gonna add an email. Then you are gonna go ahead and add a password for yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly add a password. I'm gonna confirm this password as well real quick. There we go. And once you do that, you're going to agree to their terms and click on next. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for a username. Just add anything random, to be honest. And you're going to add your name. You're going to add your phone number. And once you do that, you're going to click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, it's going to start loading you in. And once it starts loading you in, it brings you here to a user questionnaire where it says, which platform are you running your store on now? Which is obviously Shopify. I'm going to choose how many orders I process and what categories do I work in. And once we do that, we're going to submit things and it's going to load us here where it says authorization is now a success. So once your authorization is a success, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead into your uh, store over here. And from here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the main CJ dashboard where we are going to start accessing all the job shipping products. So if we scroll down here, you're going to see all these things you know, different products to work with, different products to choose from, and you know, really fun stuff that you can add for your design. So it's all these things that are gonna allow you to start working with uh, your drop shipping maneuvers. So once we're over here, let's say, I'm gonna go ahead with uh, a few products like this. Let's go with a night galaxy projector. Once we go with that, you're gonna go with this, okay? It's a DIY stainless steel flask. And then let's go with some 
heated men's puffer jackets. So I'm going to load all three of these in. And once we load all three of these in, we're going to scroll down here. And as you scroll down, it's going to, you know, take you into loading. So I'm just going to wait for it to do that. And once it's loaded in, what you're going to do from here is you're simply going to click on list. And once you click on list, it's going to bring you here. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and enter your store name. You're going to tell them where it's shipped from, where it's shipped to. And once all of that is done, you know, you're pretty much good to go. So you're just going to wait for it to, you know, process your authorization. And uh, that's pretty much about it. So once your authorization is processed, as I stated, you're simply going to click on list. And once you click on list, it's going to ask you to enter your store name. Now, in the case that it says that no data is entered on your store, you're simply going to go ahead and click on my CJ. And once you click on my CJ, it's going to take you into your CJ dropshipping dashboard. Now, once you go into your sheet of dropshipping dashboard over there, it's going to load you into this section. And once you're loaded into this section, what's going to happen is you're going to scroll down where it says store authorization. You're going to click on this and you're going to click on Shopify. And once you click on Shopify, it's going to open things up over here. And as you can see, my store is properly integrated. So now it's going to tell me that my store is good to go. So once you have chosen your store, I'm just uh, going to get out of this and now we're going to click on list once more. And uh, once everything is done, I'm going to add my recommended listing pricings. And once all of that is done, you're going to select the store to ship to the place where the orders are essentially going to go. And once all of that is done, you're going to start drop shipping your products. And once you drop ship your products, all those will appear in your product section over here. So let me show you what the outlook of these will look like. So again, once this loads up, it's going to verify that your store has been properly authorized. And once your store is authorized, simply as I stated, you're going to click on list. I'm going to give you all of this. Make sure that your store's data is properly entered. Once your store data is entered, you're going to add in the shipping information. Click on recommend listing prices. You're going to click on listed now. And once you click on listed now, from there, it's going to bring you here to your Shopify store where it's going to start adding all of the products that you are working with. It's going to add all of your necessary products and you're basically going to be good to go, you know? So that's pretty much about it. Now, once that is done, what's going to happen from there is you simply uh, go ahead and use your products, add it to your stores. And once you add it to your stores, you're going to start getting your orders from different places and once you get your orders from there you're gonna go ahead and uh you know simply uh start drop shipping and the thing is that the orders that you get are going to be seen over here so uh once your orders are done they're going to be seen in uh, you know orders over here you can fulfill your orders you know add in different inventories you know you're pretty much good to go amazon drop shipping tutorial hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can do drop shipping on amazon now if you want to do drop shipping on amazon you are going to need some type of provider okay to help you do proper drop shipping so there's a lot of dropshipping providers, but the best one, in my opinion, that would work well because normally dropshipping on your Amazon would get banned because dropshippers cannot do business on Amazon. Amazon does not approve of that type of business. So if you actually want to get sturdy and, uh, you know, get a proper dropshipping business up and running on Amazon, what we're going to do is we're going to go here and there's a platform called Deezers. So Deezers is where you can start drop shipping. Okay, it's normally connected with AliExpress as their provider, but what happens is the products that you get on Deezers are off of your Amazon products. Okay, you can actually add your Amazon in products into your Deezers. You're going to add their links and everything should work pretty easily. So what you're going to do is you're going to sign in with this. And once you sign in with this account, you're going to connect it to your actual Amazon account. Make sure you have an Amazon account. Without that, this will not work. But once you do that, it should pretty much be done for you. Hi, guys. In this video, we're going to go over the new Bart AI prompts. In this particular example, we're going to use Bart to help us to build an e-commerce brand, something probably related to dropshipping or an original brand with original label. In previous videos, if you saw my channel, we tested BART for using the settings, Google Maps, using for recipes, using for building resumes. You want to make sure you check out the other videos as well. Let's jump onto this example over here. 
So first of all, you want to scroll down and go to the prompt section and let's click on the prompt. In our example today, we are going to ask Bart to help us to build an e-commerce store. So let's jump in. I want to build an e-commerce store on, let's say, eBay or Etsy. Please suggest uh, trending products I can sell. I can sell and marketing strategy strategies. Let's see what are the basics according to Google Bart on this topic and how they can actually help us, right? It was very helpful with the maps. Okay, choosing the platform and training products to sell online requires some initial research. Okay, platforms, eBay. Okay, so Bart AI generates information from Wikipedia over here. We see the logo. It gives you some pinpoints and main difference between Etsy and eBay, right? You will compete with established sellers and lower priced items. Focus on unique or hand to find products in complete competitive pricing. Okay, so eBay, according to uh, Bart, it gives us like very good due diligence saying that, you know, if you choose eBay, you're going to compete with very, very strong competition. People who are selling at cheap, right? So we all know where is the competition. Uh, usually it's harder to make money. The market is usually saturated. Let's see what Bart AI is saying about Etsy. According to Bart AI, ideal for handcrafted and vintage items. Stand out with high quality photos, detailed description and strong brand identity. Trending products. So, okay, that's good. That's like we just got like a, like a research for dropshipping, right? Essentially, just with one prompt. How amazing Bart is, right? In comparison with ChatGPT. Okay, trending products. Once you choose the platform, explore sustainable and eco-friendly products. Reusable water bottles, bamboo utensils, upcycled clothing. Okay. Personalized items. So, we got one recommendation, which is very generic, obviously for eBay. And it gave us... Uh, a recommendation for handcraft or, or something that is customizable that is like perfect for Etsy right as you can see juries uh, with custom engraving phone cases printed photos pet accessories okay comfort and wellness products candles diffusers blankets cushions interesting tech accessories wireless chargers phone stands portable seekers I want to go one step ahead and make things a little a little more interesting. Let's ask, can you give me information from Google Trends about most searched products so far? for 2024 now things get a little complicated let's see how the bar is going to get over the challenge okay we do get some results wow it's still early in 2024 google trends does offer some interesting insights into the most search products okay guys we're, we're getting ahead of the competition that this is why you have to follow and subscribe to the channel you just you just learn something very easy for free that you you probably it will cost you hours and hours and hours to learn about okay let's see here is the glimpse based on various regions and categories this is the global category okay air purifiers okay sustainable and eco-friendly products okay with the reusable water bottle we saw that smart home devices the popularity of the smart home technology continues to grow with searches and devices like thermostats, lightning systems, doorbell seeing significant increase. 
gaming laptops and consoles with the release of new consoles more powerful laptops searches for these products are particularly high among younger demographics okay guys now we're getting into the most important part the united states searches okay peloton bikes this is surprising we all know peloton uh, it's down big time the stock has lost 80 percent of its value so let's see Despite facing some challenges in recent months, Peloton bikes remain a popular search item in the US. This suggests continued interest at home fitness solutions, which is cool. Electric vehicles, people are looking to buy Tesla or Ford. Uh, as you can see, this is among the most searched brands. Travel, after two years of pandemic restrictions, people are eager to travel again. Searches for flights, hotels, and vacation rentals are and seeing significant increase in the US. Amazing, we're having UK as well. Let's let's see the UK. The cost of living in UK. UK is facing a cost of living crisis with rising prices of wood. So this everything is a problem over here, guys. You need to think about solutions that you can provide or turn into a business ideas. Very easy. Queen Elizabeth II okay taking place in june 2024 and so it's generating a lot of interest searches for related products like like uh, uh, like mugs uh, okay some like merchandise okay gardening okay this looks cool gardening remains a popular post time in the uk and searches for related products like seeds tools and plants are steadily increasing you know what this means right all my uk friends now can be looking into capitalizing on some drop shipping seeds tools and plants for gardening as you saw over here guys it is very easy it takes just a couple of seconds all we gotta do is to put up the right prompts and have a good ideas this is how simple it is to extract information and utilize part ai don't forget to subscribe and follow for more also hit the like button guys hi guys in today's video we are going to go through what is tiktok shop how you can make money with it how much money you can make with it what are the requirements how you could apply and essentially is it actually worth it let's dive in first thing we want to launch the tiktok app when you're at your account i want you to go ahead and click on the upper right corner where you see the three straight lines when you have this pop-up menu i want you to click on the first option which is creator tools this is where the magic happens. There is a special menu over here, it's called monetization. And I want you to scroll through the section that is called Tic Tac Shop. There is a two different shops. One is for creator and the other one is for seller. Essentially, the first one over here is if you wanna make money as an affiliate. Uh, in this particular example over here, you can earn a commission with Tic Tac Shop Affiliate you can simply link a products from other people's, uh, you know, stores. For example, you're making content about, let's say, running or gym, right? And there are people who are selling gym equipment or selling gym uh, clothes or gym supplements, right? And you can essentially go and under your videos, you can tag their products. You can put your products, their products into your account. So when people shop from your account, you can simply earn commission. In this particular example, uh, the requirements and the eligibility stands that first of all, your account should not be posting anything that is against uh, the TikTok community guidance. Uh, you should have over 5,000 followers, which is half of the requirements for creativity program beta, which I believe guys is very, very possible. And of course you should be at least 18 years old, which again is very, very easy. I think this, uh, it's, a, it's a good program. I have another TikTok account. I have over 70,000 followers on the other one. Uh, I've listed plenty of items. Honestly, guys, I haven't sold anything. So I don't know. Maybe my items are too expensive or maybe the niche it's different. So you want to make sure you list items that are very, very reliable to your audience, right? Don't list like, a, uh, you know, musical instruments or something if, if your page is not for, you know, musicians. The second uh, shop over here, guys, is for uh, sellers. Essentially, this is your creator. 
And instead of you selling other people's gym equipment or gym clothes, you, you're selling your own. So let's say you found someone in China or elsewhere who can, you know, manufacture a large amount of, of goods and can ship the goods and has a facility and, you know, can expedite uh, and ship all the items. Essentially over here, you create your own account. And this is for, uh, you know, US only simply because I am from the US, but uh, you can essentially switch to other countries and currently this is what is available uh, you have indonesia malaysia thailand philippines vietnam uh, singapore and united kingdom uh, probably it will be uh, rolling over in other countries as well uh, very important over here is that you you know should have your tiktok uh, business account to log in over here so uh, you need to have a separate login simply because this is going to show you your you know analytics of your business analytics of, of your own uh, performance you could essentially click uh, sign up with your tiktok account but you're still going to have a separate note and again as you can see the examples people tend to uh, make more money if they're selling something that they are very very good at so usually as we see over here they're selling cosmetics they're selling makeups uh, i don't know why it's only <laughs> women's on the example but uh this is some success stories, someone who, who, who got over 1.5 million uh, views and you know he had 15,000 orders and he made uh, live, we're talking about live sales, over $350,000. Again, this is sales guys, this is not profit, again, uh, this is just the revenue. Uh, I think it's, it's worth trying, especially if you are like this one of these creators who are uh, really making uh, tutorials about how you know to do makeup how to you know lose weight how, something that is connected with activity that people can really you know see you trying it or see you using it so you will be able to sell more all we gotta do is to sign up over here and this is how it works guys essentially uh, it will take time for uh, tiktok to uh, you know to process your request and essentially when you sign up uh, TikTok will uh, generate your account and will be able to create a new spreadsheet where you should agree to the terms and, and conditions and then you can proceed and, and start uh, working towards the process of approval uh, they're going to send you uh, you know two to six days after they review your application uh, also then you then you have to link your original TikTok account like I mentioned there is a split in between so you will be able to get verified and you know start showing the content uh, during your live streams for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use google bart ai to make your market research to select products that you're going to sell and to create a business plan for your either e-commerce store or drop shipping business okay first thing i want you to go ahead create an account and log in into google bart ai when you come over here you want to make sure that you give Google Bay Bart AI most detailed and precise questions and prompts. Okay, so you will get the better answers. First thing you want to say, I am looking to start an e-commerce, an e-commerce store. Okay, focused on. dropshipping please help me research popular niches and products that are currently popular in the google search and also uh, help me create a business plan that's it let's see we give a pretty detailed prompt usually Bart AI is doing fantastic job guys usually it's doing much better job than ChatGPT and, and even the co-pilot of Microsoft in comparison 
let's see hot niches over here guys for dropshipping in 2024 for free eco-friendly products bamboo straws reusable water bottles organic loading trending home and garden products for improving comfort of the organization like ergonomic furniture smart home gardens health and wellness fitness trackers yoga mats meditation apps pet supplies high quality toys tech gadgets funny trending products google trends so according to google trends utilize google trends uh, business plan no i want more specifics can we get more specific about the data from google trends can we that's the question over here guy absolutely to narrow down the google trends research i need some additional information what interests you with the hot niches mentioned for example are you more drawn to the sustainable fashion nope i would uh, look for simple small i would say gadgets or tools let's see We're looking for something small easy shipping guys easy returns uh, you know everything will be much easier training gadgets and tools okay we have a cable wraps we have charging dogs portable phone stands wireless airbuds cleaning kits kitchen guides avocado slicer egg yolk that's very good guys that's very very good it's just we just type like maybe four or five different prompts and we, we end up with exact match of of our search queries right and this is based on google trends this is not coming from you know anonymous website or something so obviously it is possible and i also going to give them uh eight stars out of them the best performing uh, ai chatbot over here so far guys please make sure to check out my other videos on copilot and on on uh bing ai chat now if you want to go ahead and make money in uh, a more bulk way then i would suggest you get into creativity program beta it's a new beta that tiktok has introduced and the eligibility is only you need to be a u.s based account at least 18 years of age have at least 10,000 followers, have at least 100k views in the last 30 days. Now the way to join is just go to your settings, go to creator tools, you're going to click on creator fund and then you can switch at the bottom of the page to creativity program beta. Now do know that you can't switch back to the creator fund, you will stay in creativity program beta. And uh, what that does is creativity program beta is going to give you so many more rewards than you're supposed to get on your creator fund. It's actually crazy. And trust me, you're going to love this. So that's how you're going to make money on TikTok. Then I want you to click on the lower right side, click on your profile. Then I want you to click on the top right corner on the three straight lines. Then I want you to click on settings and privacy. When you're at the settings and privacy, I want you to scroll down. To the section that is called activity center okay here the last option will be manage post visibility when you click on it you will see all your content and you will see which content is available for everyone as you can see the first one is available for everyone the second option is which posts are available for friends only and the third option is which posts are available only for me well, what, why this matters? How you can actually fix it? Well, for example, let's say I want to change the visibility of this post over here. Then you want to click next. And this is how I can actually change the visibility of the post. I can make this post from publicly available for everyone to be available only for friends, meaning followers that I follow back. People that just follow me and I'm not following them back are not considered friends. You got that? And I can also change the visibility from public to only me. And this is how you change the visibility on the post. If you guys want to do an ultimate checkout, well, then you have to check all the videos that we want to change, right? And then you have to repeat the process. Unfortunately, they don't, they don't have this option where you can actually select all of them. Then 
Let's take the first video that we're gonna get recommended for. You hold your finger in the middle of the screen until you have this menu pop up. Then you can scroll left and right depending on the version that you have. Then you have this option over here, playback speed. Now we can actually click on 0 0.5. So this will make the video much slower. As you can see, things are moving very, very slowly. Then I hold again and then click on the playback speed. Remember, to launch this menu, you have to press in the middle of the screen while the video is playing. Then you're going to get this menu. Let's, let's try the other side of the equation. Let's press the double X speed. Now we're looking. Things are moving very, very fast. Things are simply elevating and you can probably watch much faster as long as you don't have to listen, I presume. Again, how are we going to stop this? Put your finger in the middle of the screen and hold it until you see this actual menu pop out. Let's put it back to normal. And essentially that's it, guys. Subscribe and come back for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete your TikTok search history. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the TikTok app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see the profile icon. When you're on your profile, you're going to head to the top right corner and click on the three straight lines. Then you want to click on settings and privacy, the last option. Then you want to scroll down and you want to click on activity center. When you're on Activity Center, you will find your search history, the third option. Click on it. Now you can actually click and delete, for example, select, and we can delete the first search query. This is how you can go about it. If you want to delete multiple, if not all of your search queries on TikTok, this is how we're going to go about it. You click on the top right corner, you click select. Okay. Then I want you to look at the lower left corner. There is a special menu that just pop up, right? You click on select all search history. And then you're going to click delete all. You see what it's going to do? Delete all search queries in the past 180 days. This is very, very good, guys. You might see that this is uh, essentially you have a six month a period in which everything that you search simply will be deleted and I gotta mention that this action cannot be undone when you click it like I'm gonna do done your search history on TikTok has been deleted you're welcome guys this is how simple it is to clean and delete your search history on TikTok for more tips and tricks subscribe and follow for more Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to block someone on TikTok. First thing, let's launch the TikTok app. Then you want to head to the feed of TikTok. Let's find somebody that you want to block. Let's say we want to block this particular page over here. What you want to do, you want to head to the top right corner where you see the small arrow. Okay, you click on the arrow and here you can find an option which is on the third row, the second menu which will be block. If you click block, this is what is going to happen with this account. This will not be able to send you messages, to see your photos, to see your posts. This does not include extend, extended scenarios like the multi-host live streams, uh, duets posted by others, groups, chats, and both participating. They will not be notified that you block them. This is very important. A lot of people are looking for options to block someone without them being notified. So, for example, if you're not friends, right, if you didn't hit follow and follow back prior, if this person, you know, not look back and try to find you and see that, you know, they cannot find you because you block them, this is not going to be the case. They're not going to be able to see your posts, your photos. And if you really want to hide yourself, your content and your profile from them, you don't want to be together or you don't want to be part of the multi live streams because they're going to see you in the multi live streams according to tiktok also you don't want to be part of duets that is posted by others you can create your own duet with somebody else and you're going to publish the duet and the person you block they're not going to see it because it's published by you don't participate in duets that 
it's gonna be hosted and published by third party account because you're gonna be seen. This is how to block someone on TikTok. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable dark mode on Facebook. Let's launch the Facebook app. You wanna head to the top right corner where you see the gear icon on your profile. Then slowly but steadily you wanna scroll all the way down to the section preferences. The last option in the section preferences is essentially dark mode. When you click on it, you will have a couple of options. First of all, you have the option to turn it on and you have the option to turn it off. The third option over here is that the Facebook will match the theme that you currently have on your device. In my case, this is iPhone. So if I click the theme, I have a dark mode on my phone generally. So this is what the Facebook app will do. will simply match the theme on your phone. So you will not have an issue right moving from dark theme on your device to bright theme here on the Facebook app. I advise you to do the same thing on each and every app. There is a setting similar one on Instagram. Uh, you can do the same thing when you go and use X, the Twitter, and each and every app will simply have a very smooth transition because they all going to have the same user experience and you're not going to get shocked, especially if you're in the dark, late at night on the streets, right? You're moving from, you know, dark uh, user experience on your device and then you open the app and everything is, is bright and everything is like uh, kind of irritating for the eyes. So this is what I, I'm advising you guys and vice versa. If you have a bright version on your device, bright theme, right? Over here, you probably want to make sure that each and every theme on the apps that you're using is matching the theme on your phone. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete your search history on TikTok. Simple and easy. Let's launch the TikTok app first. Click on the lower right corner on your profile. Then you want to click on the top right corner on the three straight lines. Then you want to click on settings and privacy. Then I want you to scroll down to the section that is called activity center. When you're at activity center, you want to click on search history. As you can see over here, we haven't searched anything. Let me show you how we can fix this. For example, let's say iPhone 15 Pro, okay? We just search for something. Now let's go back. Three straight lines, settings and privacy. You want to click on Activity Center. You want to click on Search History. Boom! There you have it, iPhone 15 Pro. How are we going to delete your search history? You want to click on the top right corner and you want to click Select. Then you want to tap on this individual search query that we just created. If you had a multiple different search queries, you will see on the lower left corner, there is an option that is called select all search history. Then you want to click delete all. This is going to delete 180 days worth of search history search queries. And this is how you delete your search history on TikTok. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to find videos that you have liked before on TikTok. Let's launch the TikTok app. I want you to go on your profile, hit the profile icon on the lower right corner. Then when you're at your own profile, I want you to focus on the settings above your images, above your content. So the first section, of course, will be the filter function, filtering the latest post to the most popular one. The second option will be the stories that you saved and they're hidden. The third option will be the videos that you reposted. The fourth option will be sounds, effects and videos that you actually saved. And guess what? The last option over here will be all the videos that you have liked. Okay. This is how you're going to find, you can scroll down and you can find all the videos that you have liked previously. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe 
and file for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to share link from your profile on TikTok so you can send it to other people so they can actually follow you. So there are two ways to do it. Let me show you the first one. Let's launch a TikTok app. Go ahead and click on the lower right. Then go ahead and click on the upper right as well, on the three straight lines. Then I want you to click on the settings and privacy. When you're in settings and privacy, I want you to focus on the fourth option over here, which is share profile. When you click share profile, you will be able to copy the link from your account and then paste the link on Messenger or send the link straight through the Messenger. When you click on it, you will have an option with a special bar underneath and you will have all the apps that you currently have, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp. So you will be able to just send the link right from one click when you click share over here. So this is a very direct way. If you really want to copy just the link, not to send the link as a message, all you got to do is to come on your profile, like over here, right? And you will see that under your profile picture, you will have a share profile button. When you click share profile button, well, you will have three options. You will have the QR code, which is someone just met on the street. They can simply, uh, you know, read the QR code by opening the, the iPhone camera, right? So they can find you right away if they have the app. The second option that they give you over here is just to copy the plain link. And the third option is to share the profile as a message. Uh, I showed you the third one to send it as a message, to share it as a message. So these two are coming only if you click on your profile. So if you just want to send just a link, all you got to do is to come over here on your profile and click share profile. If you want to send it as a message, it probably will be easier just to go on the previous function like I showed you and send direct message with your actual profile. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unblock accounts on TikTok. Very easy, very simple. You don't have to remember who you blocked. The way I'm going to show you, it's simply mind blowing. Let's dive in. So first thing you want to do is launching the TikTok app as usual. Then click on the lower right corner where is your profile. Then all you got to do is to go ahead and click on the three straight lines on the top right corner, okay? Then you want to click on settings and privacy. The best of all is that we're almost done. Next step is to click on privacy. And this is where the magic happens. I want you to slowly scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. The last option is blocked accounts. Well, there we have it. There's a bunch of accounts that uh, we've blocked previously. Now let's unblock someone over here, click on block and the account was just unblocked. This is how simple it is actually to block again and unblock people just finding this list with blocked accounts. You don't have to remember who previously blocked and what was the, the, the handle, the account. Or you just come over here, find all the accounts that previously were blocked from you and you decide who to be freed. <laughs> for more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to see people that you have blocked previously. You maybe want to look to unblock some of these people, so I'm going to show you where is the list of people you blocked. Let's launch the TikTok app first. As usual, click on the lower right corner where you see your profile icon. Then you want to hit the three straight lines on the top right corner. Okay. Then I want you to click on settings and privacy. Now, pay very close attention over here, guys. I want you to pick up the second option, which is privacy. And I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom where you see an option that is called blocked accounts. When you click on it, you will find a list of people that you previously blocked. And now you have the magic power to unblock them if you really want to do that. But essentially, guys, this is how you could see all the people that you previously blocked in one place. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete your TikTok account. After the recent updates, guys, there are a few differences. Let me show you. 
let's launch the TikTok app. First thing you want to do, you want to click on the lower right corner and hit the profile picture. Then I want you to go ahead and click on the three straight lines on the top right corner. Then select settings and privacy. Now I want you to click on account. When you're at account, the last option that you will see over here will be deactivate or delete your account. When you click on that, you will have two options to delete your account immediately and you will have 30 days grace period in which you have the availability to come back and recover your account by simply logging in. If you click deactivate account, well, simply your account will not be available for the public. Your content will not be available for the public, but the whole information will be saved up in your account. This means that you can take a break as much as you want uh, by deactivating your account and you can come back at any time you want. No issues, no problem with it. But when you click delete, you have 30 days to make your mind, right? If you want to change your mind, you have 30 days. Also, very important note over here, guys, is that if you want to delete your account, you want to make sure that you download your data. You have to make a special request to TikTok and they will need two, three, four days maybe to process your information. And then they will give you an option to download the info. So first of all, you have to request information, download your information, and then you can click delete. You cannot click delete and then wait for the information because the accounts that are scheduled for deletion cannot be used as a source for TikTok to download the data from. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.